<laughs> this is essentially how it feels like to be a third year student. Welcome one and all. My name is Hunter, the student that none of you like. So, I made videos about my first year, about my second year, and this is my third and hopefully <laughs> final year. Now, you know, I thought that third year was gonna be quite great and, you know, after the heavy overload of last semester, after the virus had changed everything, I had high hopes for this part. But uh, let me tell you this, uh, it, it just got worse, it got way worse. Now some of you might think, ah, third year, you already should know, you know, your profession, you're gonna be graduating next year, you're gonna either go for masters or, you know, start working, all of that. And yeah, I can't see myself working at McDonald's. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, uh, last year was the most important one, and I feel like I learned nothing. Does that mean that my university is shit or I'm mentally handicapped? Uh, actually, no. I put the blame on the virus and the online education. Ah, yes, online classes. I already covered them before. There is a mm, like small chance that I will talk about them again in the future if this shit keeps dragging on. But to quickly sum it up, it's totally fucking useless. If, if... They are telling you that online classes are just as effective and it's all fine and shit. Chances are the people who tell you this are earning money from keeping the students in school. And the only way they can uh, like approve or say that, ah, yeah, we take our money, but it's not going to waste is by forcing students to, you know, accept that online classes are a viable option. Now, most likely most of my viewers are from the United States since I'm talking in English. And for you guys, it must be even more exciting and fun in terms of that, especially because your colleges cost like, what, 50 grand per year or even more. Really great stuff, you know, money well spent. Okay, I'm not gonna shit talk online classes anymore. Wow, guess who's back? The lawnmower guy, just as I start recording. Woo! Fuck yes, you know, <laughs> 1k likes and I'll <laughs> include the lawnmower guy in my next video. No, I will not fucking do that. Mm, my god. So yeah, I don't know about your university, you guys, but I guess uh, our university pays like half of the budget goes to the lawn mowing because every fucking day somebody mows the fucking lawn. Like, Jesus Christ. We have a leaf problem, apparently. Anyways, as I was saying, third year. Well, you might think that gradually you become used to your classes, you adapt to things, you, you know, you have this final stretch. For you, this might be the fourth year, but here we study only three. So imagine this is a final stretch. So you're going to be graduating. This is your last moments here. So you do the home run. You start learning everything. It's all fun and exciting all of a sudden. And it's, it's right there, the graduation. You're finally an expert at your field. Well, in reality, what happens is I don't even know the names of the classes that I have right now. And the main reason for that is because only one of them has a final exam and the rest have like group projects or some shit. So, yeah, uh, really, really impre impressive. What can I say? To be honest, what university gave me as a gift was not some knowledge on a field that I had never like seen before or some shit. But rather, I became super lazy. I started skipping my classes to the point that I don't even know what's the name of the class. I get good grades anyways. I don't care. I studied the night before the final and I get a good grade, whatever. And at the end of the day, I hate my profession. I hate what I'm studying. And I generally regret having to go to university overall but there is a good side to this and the good side is uh being so fucking depressed and so tired of the classes i devoted myself to this youtube channel not much but you know i started working on it because i was just going completely insane 
And yeah, now I have something that at least I'm having fun while I'm doing. So yeah, if you're a first year student, what do you should look forward to in, I don't know, after one or two years? So simple, uh, instead of walking around like this, you're gonna be walking around like this. Instead of saying, oh, I have a class uh, and we have these interesting assignments, you're gonna be saying the following, I had only two hours of sleep, I have this stupid group project and the people are so stupid and I skipped my morning class because I couldn't wake up. Yeah, good luck, good luck and have fun. I'm gonna be breaking down whether you should or should not go to university after I'm done with it. But, you know, it's it's a gradual decline for me from first year to now. I just came here so happy with such high hopes only to realize that this is basically high school, but even worse. And it's worse because you now have shitty group assignments every, every fucking week. And people in the group think they're smart and they're totally not. And yeah, uh, I just want to fucking stop this shit, I want to graduate, I want to quit this bullshit and never ever ever have to go through such a shitty process ever again. Man, and, and you know, they say university is fun, yeah, remember all these fucking uh, things about partying and you know, whoa, university life, student life, man, yeah, hell yeah, no, no, it's it's not real, it's bullshit, especially with coronavirus, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see you party now, you fucking piece of shit. So, Overall good. I rated a solid 7 out of 10. Not bad, not bad. I still have a winter break ahead of me, so thank god I will have some resting time. But yeah, so I guess I'll end this with a suggestion to other fellow students around the world. And my suggestion is use university time wisely. So let's say you willingly who went to the university and willingly decided what you're gonna study and you were not forced to choose a specific major uh, then i suggest you try to invest yourself into it sometimes it's gonna be rough sometimes it's gonna be stupid but just you know so goes everything in this life even like games have these shitty stupid missions where you have to trail a guy for fucking 50 hours to nowhere but we still love them same goes for your profession. Try to enjoy it as much as you can. Fucking Don more. And for those of you who... Yeah, get louder. Can you get even louder? Thank you. Uh, yeah, and for... And for those of you who don't like it... Yeah, it's pointless to try to scream over this, but... If you, if you don't like what you're studying, then my suggestion is try to expand your social circle try to see what other people do and you might find yourself inspired to do something else like i got inspired to start a youtube channel uh, my friend is doing music uh, about which i'm going to be talking in a future video and you know generally it's a nice place to find yourself find who you really are although my biggest suggestion is don't stay with your parents while you're studying otherwise you're you're not going to develop at all mate sorry Thank you all so much for watching, stay safe out there, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Goodbye.